Hello everyone. Last video we created this auto water level controller for hydroponics. In the version 2 I've modified it a little bit easier for everyone to use. So instead of having to screw these two parts together, I've been created a design that you just click this in so you don't need to put another screw. Also, in the last one, we need to adjust this inner pipe to touch the silicon tape to seal the water, touch it at the right level. In this version 2, I've created a uh, fixed length stopper here. So you don't need to adjust the pipe anymore, you just fix it in and there you go, you can have a flow valve. The last thing I did is there are some holes here and some legs so you can stand uh, your flow valve on the bottom of the tank and then if you want to adjust the water level you can put in some screws here, elevate the whole thing a bit so you can reach the level of water level you need easily by adjusting the screw. Let me show you. So you can uh, insert a screw at the leg of the flow valve to adjust the height of the water level mark. To use my water level controller, you can go to my GitHub. The link is in the description. And then you can download this file, which is the 3D model. Uh, for, you can download to the software you use for 3D printing and then print it out. If you're using Fusion 3D, uh, Fusion 360, you can download this file instead. And then you can open up Fusion 360 to customize it. You can change this size to fit your uh, growth tank. So if you want to print it, you can click File, 3D Print, and then you can select everything uh, like this. So everything has been selected, and then you can click OK. It will launch the slicing software called Cura. The slicing software will convert the 3D design into the G-coded file used by your 3D printer. So this is the sliding software, Cura. Before you print it, you can uh, examine how it looks. You can uh, click the right mouse button and move it around and see whether everything is good. And then you can select this parameter. To make it Durable for long-term use, you should set the infill density to 40%. Uh, there's no need to enable support. So support should be left blank here. And then you can slice. After slicing is done, you can do a preview to look at uh, how things will be printed. And make sure all the parts are not missing. And then you can also use this slider on the right to slide and simulate the printout status. Make sure the first layer has every part stick on to the print bed, otherwise you may not be able to print anything. Okay, and then you can save to your file, save to your SD card, then you can insert to your printer to print.
So after printing, you will have this part. Let me show you how to set it up. So besides this, the only thing you need is the pipe that connects to your water tank and this 3mm uh, silicon tape. So let me show you how I put it on. Let's cut out one piece from here around one centimeter long cut one piece from here okay and then stack it on the flow valve you need to measure a bit so this is this is the uh, water hole so you want to be aligned to the water hole here so you want to stick your tape around here just lining up to the water hole. All right. Then push it hard. Make sure it stick well. And then take off the hard cover. Then you'll find it's very very sticky. So what you want to do is use your hand to make it less sticky and also put in some water once this thing is in the water it will not be that sticky we can't let it be too sticky otherwise it will stick to the to our box and we will not be able to let the water in okay so next we will need to look at this there's a small opening here around 45 degree and this part will be a little bit uh, easier to push it in so you align it to around 45 degrees to the base like this and then you mark that hole there squeeze it in a bit or you can put one end in first and then squeeze the other end in like this okay see it's uh, moving freely it's a little bit sticky so you won't fall down but when water comes in it will be okay and then to avoid this flow valve dropping to the floor we need to insert this small board here so there's a slot here and here so we just lock this in here okay so we just move it out a bit just to block this flow while falling in okay so now I can freely move but you you won't fall in fall down to the floor and then lastly but not least we'll insert this pipe this pipe has a three millimeter hole so we can insert it in okay it should insert properly okay the sticky tape will uh, when it rises to the top it will seal this in pipe so water will be stopped and then the last thing is to connect the soft pipe from your nutrient tank to this flow valve and then you can put this inside your pot at the base so you can control the water flow 